Stages of Fracture Healing There are five stages Stage of Hematoma Stage of Granulation Tissue Stage of Callus Formation Stage of Consolidation and Stage of Remodeling So let's see how to remember these stages First, we have the stage of Hematoma Hematoma means blood That is the stage of Hematoma Next, we have the stage of granulation tissue. So, since there is blood, you are going to clean it out. How? By making use of a tissue. What type of a tissue? Granulation tissue. So, stage of granulation tissue. Now, thirdly, we have the stage of callus formation. Callus for kela. And kela means banana. Next, how was the kela? It was solid, so stage of consolidation. And then lastly, who asked you about the kela? The model asked you about the kela. So the stage of remodeling. So stage of hematoma, stage of granulation tissue, stage of callus formation, stage of consolidation and stage of remodeling. Now let's see what happens at each of these stages. So the first one is the stage of hematoma. It lasts for about 7 days. Initially, there is a bone fracture. So whenever there is a bone fracture, the blood leaks, resulting in a hematoma. Also, whenever there is a bone fracture, the periosteum is stripped off. Now, resulting in avascular necrosis, also called as ischemic necrosis. The osteocytes are a type of bone cells. Some of them die, whereas the others, they differentiate to form the daughter cells. So this is the stage of hematoma. Then we have the stage of granulation tissue. It lasts for about 2-3 to three weeks. Now these daughter cells they differentiate to form the blood vessels, the osteoblasts and the fibroblasts. All these three things, they collectively form the granulation tissue. Now this granulation tissue contains the macrophages, the giant cells that removes the blood clots. However, the fracture is still mobile. Important thing to remember in the stage of granulation tissue is in case of soft tissue healing, the granulation tissue it forms the fibrous tissue and in case of bone healing that is in case of bone fractures, the granulation tissue forms the osteoblasts. These osteoblasts are the bone forming cells. Now the third stage is the stage of callus formation. This stage of callus formation lasts for about 4 to 12 weeks. Now these osteoblasts they lay down to form the intercellular matrix. This intercellular matrix contains the calcium salts. They help in callus or the woven bone formation. This callus or the woven bone is seen after 3 weeks of fracture. The callus formation is faster in case of children and in case of cortical bone as compared to cancellous bone. So it is faster in children and in cortical bone. Now the stage of consolidation. The stage of consolidation lasts for about 1 to 2 years. This woven bone or the callus bone which we had seen in the previous stage is also called as the immature bone. This woven bone, it forms the lamellar bone. The lamellar bone is also called as the mature bone. It is a slow process and this process is based on multicellular unit based. That is, so this stage of consolidation is based on the multicellular unit. And then lastly, we have the stage of remodeling. The stage of remodeling 
it takes many years it helps in sharpening and strengthening of the bone so how is this done by muscle forces or by weight bearing and the stage of remodeling is faster in children as compared to adults so these were the stages of fracture healing